Dakota first. Today's KX conversation taking a stand against domestic violence. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And joining us now is Naomi Cook with a more on an initiative dedicated to informing those in a domestic violence situation there is help and resources available. Naomi, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And can you first start by telling us a little bit about CHI St. Alexius North Dakota Violence Prevention Program? Absolutely. So we are um, a grant funded violence prevention program. We are hosted out of CHI St. Alexis in Bismarck. Um, this program came together years ago to really um, collaborate some North Dakota communities that were interested in really focusing on preventing violence um, in North Dakota to make really our state just a healthier place. So we do have eight communities involved. Um, Bismarck, of course, we have facilities also working in Carrington, Devils Lake, Dickinson, Lisbon, Oaks, Valley City, and Williston. Can you tell us about a couple of components of the program? Absolutely. So we um, actually train people, leaders in our community, to do community outreach. And that basically is a program where we um, do presentations to local professionals, to healthcare, to community members, to anybody interested in learning more. And really, it's a collaborative program to give people tools, um, techniques, just the knowledge of how to really identify if somebody is having issues, what to do if they disclose to you that they are having violence in their relationship, and then um, how to make a referral to people who can actually help. So we do um, a lot of presentations throughout the state, um, you know, and that just really, really inspires collaboration and just more comfort for people to be able to address that topic, which is a hard one too. Um, secondly, we educate individuals throughout our community on intimate partner violence prevention, and we do this by training people to be facilitators um, for varying curriculum. Uh, the, the main one we use is a healthy relationship curriculum called Within My Reach. So that really focuses on promoting healthy relationships and de decision making skills. Um, and we use this to educate people in their communities throughout the year. We can use this with people from about seniors in high school on up. Um, and that is just a wonderful overall, you know, curriculum that we've been using for many years in our state. We also use a program called Walk the Lime. That is a program that has been evidence-based to work for incarcerated men. We have taught that one in, um, in North Dakota for several years now. Um, so that is just a good one to reach people who may be, you know, going to be in, in prison for the rest of their lives. Um, possibly they're going to be returning to our communities. So we do that one also in county jails. Uh, we've got a few programs that are geared towards adolescents and teens. Um, we are currently using safe dates and are looking for, you know, another great option to go along with that. And then we are also starting to use um, a brand new one to us called Coaching Boys into Men. So that one really focuses on the coach and male athlete relationship um, and teaching coaches how to address um, their athletes just in normal conversation um, as to how to have, you know, respect for women, um, how to be really just good human beings. So that's our focus. Um, this year is coaching boys into men and then we are going to also um, implement the female counterpart called um, athletes as leaders probably next year okay naomi thank you so much for your time absolutely